Have you ever found yourself needing to connect ServiceNow to one of these apps? Well, what if I told you that there's not only an easy way for you to do it, but there's a way that you can do this without having to write a single line of code, without having to build complex API integrations, and without having to rely on scarce development resources. Now, the way that you can do this is by using the Unido Sync platform. Unido is an easy to use integration platform that allows you to build two-way syncs between a variety of different software. Now, special thanks to Unido for sponsoring this video and for giving me access to their platform. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use the Unido Sync platform to build a two-way sync between ServiceNow and Jira in a matter of minutes. Let's go ahead and let's get started. Now, the first thing that you'll want to do is head over to unido.io and create an account. Now you can get yourself a free trial to test out the full capabilities of the Unido platform. I've included a link to their website in the description of this video below. Now, once you log into Unido, you're going to land on the dashboard, which features a guided flow builder. Now, in order to get started, the first thing that you want to do is click on the start here button. And then you're going to want to select the two apps that you would like to build a sync between. Now I'll start here on the left by clicking the add a tool to this flow dropdown. And in the search field, I will search for ServiceNow and I will select it. The next thing that you'll need to do is select your account. Now I'll click on the choose account button and I will click connect a new ServiceNow account. This is going to bring you into the login page and here you can either connect using a username and password or with OAuth 2.0. Now I'll go ahead and click connect with username and password and here you'll need to enter the URL for your ServiceNow instance and the username and password associated with your account. Now you can see here that it is displaying a success message meaning that my account credentials worked. Next I'll click got it. And the next thing that we'll need to do is select the table on which we would like to build a sync. Now I'll go ahead and click on the select a table dropdown. And here I will start to search for the incident table and I will select this option here. And now I've configured the ServiceNow setup in Unido. Next, we'll go ahead and establish our connection to Jira. Now to do this, I'll click on the add a tool to this flow button. And here I will select Jira Service Management Cloud. Once you've completed these steps, you wanna go ahead and click on the confirm button. And the next thing that you'll need to do is configure how you would like your sync to operate. Now you can see here that by default, it is going to set up a bi-directional sync, meaning that records created in one app will automatically be created and updated in the other. Now let's say that you wanted to have a one-way sync where incident records created in ServiceNow automatically get created in Jira. You can easily click on this arrow here and you can see that that sync will update. And if you wanted to do it the other way, you could click on this option here. And again, you can see that the sync will update. Now again, for the purposes of this video, we're gonna create a bi-directional sync to make sure that we can keep our data up to date in both places. Next, I'll go ahead and click confirm. Now the next thing that we'll need to do is configure the rules that will guide this sync. Now rules are essentially parameters or conditions that we can impose on the sync to make sure that we're only bringing over and synchronizing the specific data or records that we want to. Now you can see here at the very top of the interface, what it's asking me to do is specify what type of incident records I would like to sync over to Jira. Now the rule builder is one of my favorite features of Unido because it's very simple to use and it's easy to understand. You can see here that it is describing the rules in plain language. So if a record is in the ServiceNow incident table and we can click on the add a new rule dropdown and this will allow us to search for specific fields. Now what I will do is I will search for the category field and I will select that here and you can see that it's automatically added my operator. Now I can easily change this is to an is not and I can select the value. Now what I'm going to do is I will select software 
And this will ensure that the only incident records that get moved over to JIRA are those that have a category value of software. Now you can see at the bottom of this first rule builder box that it reads, then create a matching issue in JIRA service management cloud and keep them in sync. And you can even change the default issue type. Now I'll go ahead and click on this drop down, and I will select the incident type. Now at the bottom of the rule builder, this is where we can come to specify the other side of the sync. So you can see here that it reads if an issue in JIRA incident is created and the status is open, then create a matching record in service now. Now I'll go ahead and leave this as is, and next I'll go ahead and click confirm. And you can see here that the next step is to actually map the fields from both apps. Now, what's really awesome about this feature is that you can choose to either map your fields manually or you can let Unido do the work for you. Now, I'll go ahead and click map automatically. You can see here that it is going through fields on both sides. And you can see here that what it's done is it's actually mapped a bunch of fields, specifically 12 out of 84 in ServiceNow to 12 out of 56 in Jira. Now, if you needed to make a change to one of the automatic mappings, you can easily do that by simply clicking into the field either on the ServiceNow side or the Jira side and by selecting the specific field that you would like to map. If you wanted to delete a mapping, you can just hover your cursor over that row and you can click on the delete icon. And what's really cool is that you can even define whether you would like the sync to be one way or two way for specific fields. Now you can see here that all of these fields have been set up for a bi-directional sync and you can see that the JIRA link to issue is going to be one way sync over to ServiceNow and the ServiceNow link to record is going to be one way over to JIRA. Now if you wanted to add an additional mapping, you can simply click on the add mapping field. That's going to add another mapping row and you could go ahead and select your fields. Now, in order to sync choice fields between two apps, you will need to make sure that the actual choice values match. Now, what I've done here is I have created several custom fields in Jira, including status, severity, category, urgency, and impact. And I've set the values in those fields to match the values in the corresponding field in ServiceNow. Now, thanks to Unido, you don't even have to create matching custom fields in both apps. When you are configuring your field mapping, you can even configure the individual selection values in choice fields. Now, to do this, you want to click on the setting icon, and you can see here that once I do that, it will actually display the individual choice values in my ServiceNow urgency field, and it has automatically mapped these individual values to the corresponding values over in Jira. Now in this example, it automatically mapped low to low because those values were identical, but if these values were not identical, you could actually configure the mapping yourself. Now, once you've finished your mapping, you wanna go ahead and click confirm. And you can see here that our flow has been built in a matter of minutes. Now, if you wanted to go back and modify this, you can do it at any time by simply clicking on the edit button for any of these different stages. And if you're ready to go ahead and turn your flow on, all you need to do is click the continue button. And you can see here this confirmation prompt saying ready to launch your flow. And you even have the option to turn on auto sync, which allows Unido to perform the sync in the background. Now I'll go ahead and click launch flow. And you can see here that the platform is now performing an initial sync. Now, if you're the head of an IT organization, or even if you're an IT administrator and you're dealing with a large backlog and limited development hours for ServiceNow related tasks, then Unido is here to help. Unido offers an agile, customizable, and secure integration platform that can increase your team's velocity and independence. With features like out-of-the-box, two-way, real-time sync, historical data sync, and enterprise-level security, Unido makes integration easy and efficient. No more dependency on service partners or manual work causing delays. Unido's platform is easy to use, maintain, and can be rolled out quickly. 
Plus, it comes with technical support included and complies with global privacy laws such as GDPR and CCPA. So if you're looking to solve business critical IT issues quickly and at a lower cost, be sure to check out the Unito platform. All right, now you can see here that I have brought up both ServiceNow and Jira side by side, and I have filled out a new incident record form in ServiceNow. Now, what I will do is I will go ahead and submit this record. Now I'll go ahead and refresh my Jira instance here. And you can see here in the to-do bucket, there is a new record created and I will go ahead and open the ServiceNow record and I will open the record in Jira as well. And you can see that the data from ServiceNow was seamlessly brought over into this particular incident record. You can see here the short description was passed into the actual Jira incident description or title. You can see here the comments coming from the description field. You can even see here the comments that were input in the work notes. And what's really awesome about the Unito platform is that it will even bring over attachments. Now you can see here that I had included this screenshot or this emoji on my ServiceNow incident record, and it was also able to seamlessly bring that attachment over into the Jira incident. Now what I will do is I will go ahead and modify these attributes here. So I will change the urgency from three to two. I will also do the same for the impact. I will also do the same for the severity and I will change the status from new to on hold. And you can see here that those changes were updated in the ServiceNow incident record in real time. Now you can tell that that is the case because you can see here the little update symbol next to all of those fields. And you can even see the details of the changes that were made in the activity stream. All right, now this time what I've done is I've gone ahead and filled out an issue or incident record in Jira. And now I'll go ahead and press create. Now I'll go ahead and update my ServiceNow instance here. And you can see here that the new incident record has been created. Now I'll go ahead and click into the incident record. And you can see here that all of the data fields that we mapped in the Unito platform were automatically updated from Jira to ServiceNow. So the Unito platform is an amazing tool that allows you to build seamless two-way syncs between ServiceNow, Jira, and a ton of other applications. So that's it. In this video, I demonstrated how you can build a two-way sync between ServiceNow and Jira using Unito. Unito's integration platform allows you to build two-way syncs between over 40 different apps at the time of recording this video without having to write complex code and without having to rely on developers. Now, if you'd like to learn more about Unito, you can click the link in the description of this video below, or you can click that card in the upper right-hand corner. And remember, you can even sign up for a free trial. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like give it a share, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any of my new content. I'm Louis Acobalos. I'll see you in the next video.